I'm revolting. I'm breaking out of the nation state system altogether right now, and no other human can stop me. I'm ripping off my slavery chains. I am an earth man, unbound. I'm ramming down the old fashioned national barriers. Mm -hmm for the good of my little individual Earthman self and for the greater benefit of my big cosmic self, which includes all humanity. Mm -hmm. This morning, I am standing with supreme self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Pure self-realization, authentic harmony with my destiny. I am a natural life-enhancing gift to humanity and planet Earth. You know, we Earth people, we could put free water wells all around the planet using helicopters. I mean, we're using a lot of helicopters right now in Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, slaughtering fellow humans. Why don't we get an Earth fleet of choppers together? Everything absolutely free, a gift, a true relationship amongst us, the movement towards equivalence, equality, harmony, balance, abundance, joy, Oh, yeah, each action an open-hearted gift with that so-called other, <laughs> optical delusion, other self, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. that other person of your big self with the capital S, yeah. Look it. I want to turn you on. This Earth People trip is amazingly simple because there are only two ways to get it together. Let's get it together, man. Well, that won't be by using our minds. That's the current paradigm that most people have evolved up to. The mind, the, uh, mentalizing every microsecond of existence, not knowing anything beyond mind. And what is that? How does that get it together? <laughs> well, uh, the inferior old-fashioned method is to uh, analyze everything to death. Jeez. Um, yeah. Mm. Weigh it. Compare it. Run it through the computers. Mm -hmm. To distinguish. What? How different we all are? Hardcore dualistic kind of perception is fast tracking our destruction of our species and our planet. Yeah. The superior and uh, more evolved way is to use your spirit to perceive. And with the spirit, you you see with light, light from the inside of things. You don't perceive with the mind, which is a mouthing, verbal, hearing, sound domain. And this is where you look at a severely uh, disabled human being, and I see them every day in India, lepers and amputees of all kinds. You see this severely uh, deformed person and you do not distinguish between you. Why? He is you. He is you looking at himself in you. 
this is yourself looking at yourself. And if this, if this leper is hungry, <laughs> oh, you are hungry. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Mahatma Gandhi for a moment. Mahatma Gandhi was not on a kind of a naive uh, spiritual ego trip. Rather, this giant spiritual earth person realized the subtle cosmic law that he is every body, every physical body on earth. And before he can get it together, absolutely, before he can be free, every other physical body must be fully fed. Or he'll never be full. He'll be hungry forever. Mm -hmm. Gandhi realized the law of the one fabric of existence. Mm -hmm. With this enlightenment <clears throat> comes the understanding that all external violence is self-suicide. And this understanding is what powers and makes unstoppable the peace movement. Look at dumping my citizenship, absolute, pure, ecstatic self-actualization. What's making me jubilant about it, you know? What's making me go down to the embassy in, a, in about an hour to do the thing? Because I shall merge with every physical and spiritually body on earth. I become earth people. <laughs> No more Americans, or no more Indians, or more any nationalities of any kind. Uh, I'm free to welcome all, without exception, all humanity within me. Because all humanity is already within my perception of it. What a divine rush. Oh, you feel so joyful to be a human being again. Mm -hmm. Oops. I'm almost late for my embassy appointment, so I uh, pack up my tape recorder and uh, get a rickshaw to the American embassy, yeah. You know what? I'm not wearing straight clothes anymore. I mean, I haven't for years. Uh, uh, I, I dress, I, I go to the embassy in my Zadu clothes, you know, orange sarong with Sanskrit characters stamped on it, hip, hi, uh, hippie headband, red raksha beads, uh, stubby beard. I'm recording this whole thing <laughs> for my book. Yeah, called. <laughs> there are no foreign people. Mm -hmm. So I placed the mic, my little teeny Sony cassette mic, on the ambassador's desk and adjust the volume to the ideal level. And... All right, showtime. Ambassador speaks first. Okay, uh, read this statement out loud. I have 13 statements I have to read out loud in front of witnesses. Well, one, upon renouncing my citizenship, I will be an alien. <laughs> and if I do not meet the requirements for uh, eligibility to enter the United States as an alien, I will be permanently banned from entering the United States. Furthermore, They're trying to scare me as much as they can. 
Uh, my renunciation my, may not affect my status as a member of the armed forces of the United States. And if there's any problems in that regard, they must first be resolved before I will be allowed. <laughs> to renounce my United States nationality. Well, silently. I'll let this last statement sink in. <laughs> I get it. Wow. I have just muckraked the bad core, core deal in the nation individual social contract, which is, I just happen to be a citizen of the United States because I was born in the so-called United States. And as I'm emerging between my uh, mother's uh, legs in the hospital in the Haight-Ashbury of San Francisco, the American government is already forcibly setting me up for a future <laughs> to kill Earth people with no escape clause. Mm-mm. -mm. Really insane to kill Earth people that I've never quarreled with or even seen. Whether I like it or not. Oh, my journalistic training is coming in good right now. That's it. I found the nugget of the rotten deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, how else can they try to scare me? Let's see what's 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 next on that, huh? <laughs> yes, Goddess Earthy, someone does recognize you, stands up for you, sacrifices for you, gives up a lower dimension of awareness to dwell in a finer, diviner realm. <laughs> 